good morning good morning good morning ladies so we are going to do a look with the uh, we're actually going to do three looks with this perception palette this is the shayla um collab with ColourPop. so one of my um one of my subs and friends jerry Folsom, has asked me to do this so I'm going to knock a few things out today. And I thought, what better way than a colorful LuLaRue shirt, right? Right, I know you guys are like, she's lost it. She's losing her mind. So I'm in the middle of going through my um, palettes. It's really hideous. We're going to use tape today. I know that looks like she has. It sure does excite me. I love tape. Get my mirror down. We're going to tape it up. Got some Neosporin working on that eye that is just giving me one heck of a time. So I'm going to do something a bit different today. I'm going to do no foundation. For this let me put a little bit of glow on but no foundation let's see what happens when we use no foundation <laughs> it won't be pretty but I really am trying to give my skin a break the weekend give it a rest all right guys let's get a little scrubby scrub on our brushes and then we can dive right into this there's our little scrubby scrub so the girl that cut my hair you know, my gal Jessica she cut it a little bit different so it's not really fading in I'm, I'm seeing if I prefer this or if I prefer it a little bit longer it grows so fast by the end of this week, it'll be faded, so. Hmm. But it was nice to get my hair done. She is, at, I've never been to a hairdresser that is more gentle on you, and she's just kind, and... Um, I am not putting down a primer just because we're going to take this off. So I'm going to put a little transition in here with the color, this shade right here. I'm using it as a transition. I had to ask my husband this morning what day it was. I've lost track of all days. I'm that out of it. He's like, um, Susan, it is Sunday. I'm like, Sunday? Already? Okay. Then I'm going to take this orange, I think, and I'm going to put that into my crease. So you know the first color, the first look I'm gonna do is gonna be something that's orangish. I think I'm gonna take this red burgundy right here and I'm gonna put that in the outer V in my eye. Let's see what that looks like. Just before I start blending it, I'm kind of just dabbing it on to see how deep the color is going to get. I finally ordered a light for my ring light, the bulb. Since it burnt out, hopefully that'll make our videos even brighter. Oh, I really like that. Now I think I'm going to do something I didn't think I was going to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
So there's this pinkish, it's like a pinkish, reddish shimmer. And I think I'm gonna just use my finger. And it's coming off very orange. Which of course, pink and red, maybe that is orange. Hmm, I do kind of like that. I really like that. It's really orange. Which you guys know I'm a fan of. Wow. Wow. Then there's a little lighter color right there. I'm going to put that in my inner corner, maybe. Hmm. It's going to be weird doing no foundation day with this. But... You don't always have to wear foundation. Yay! <laughs> Doesn't take a whole lot to make me happy. I'm like, yay, the tape came off. How exciting. All right, we're going to go back into that, that rust color there. And we're going to put it under our eyes. And we are just going to... Blend that out a little bit. What do we think? What do we think? All right. So, oh, my whole body is itching. So we're gonna use this um, Capri Coast from. Becca to bronze our skin today and see how that works out for us. It's very weird for me not to be doing foundation. How many times do you want me to say that? You want me to say it like 10 times because I, I can. I'm on my way. So last night, you see this spot right there? I had a scab there, right? Last night, my husband, I don't know what he thought it was, a tick or something, freaking pulls the scab off. I'm so irritated with him. It drives me insane when he does silly stuff like that. I probably needed foundation. <sighs> we on our way now. I'm going into the Smashbox. This is the contour palette, but I'm going to use this shade right here for some blush. Do you need some blush? Especially if you're not. We might have to put a little something on our nose. Because the nose is red. Just to clear that up a little bit. get some pressed powder. Which I know I have because I have so much of it. Like, that's me plus. Okay, so I'm going to go in to my nose with this MAC. This is their mineralized powder. It's just a pressed powder, so I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Because the nose knows that it doesn't have foundation on. Oh, I'm truly powdering my nose. How's that? I want a little ham on the bronzer. <laughs> All right, 
let's go in with some Sima Sima. We're gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury um, Gold Bar Palette. If I can get it open. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna go into this pinky color, like the rose gold. And we're gonna So like put the foundation on it would really help but we're not going to do that no we're not no we're not because we are going to continue to make a mess yes we are yes we are with what we got no idea what I did with that. Oh. I was looking for that Wonder Brow stuff. Wonder Brow. That's too much. I don't know why. I think it's because I have to cross my body, but we got a problem. It just gets too much. The beautiful thing is, I don't have foundation on, so I don't have to worry about that. My girlfriends are walking the rock and roll half marathon today. And God bless them for it. I'd be lucky if I can walk to the laundry room and back. But that's how my friend Dina and Be my friends Dina and Betsy are. They are very dedicated and uh, they're really inspirational to me. Betsy's supposed to be doing a video of a makeup tutorial. Betsy has no idea how to do makeup. And uh, she's supposed to be doing that. Exciting. It'll be fun. It will be fun. Well, that hurt like a bitch. Bristles caught me in my eye. Since we are so orange today, we are going to put something, just a light lip gloss on. Use our dose of colors from I Love Sarahi collection. This is a look number one from this palette. I did have all the lipsticks. I could have put one of those on next time. 
All right, guys. So what do you think about look one? Jerry, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get with this thing. But we are going to keep going with our looks. All right, guys. I'll be back in a minute with the next look. Okay, everybody. We're ready for look number two. So let's see what we're going to do here. We already kind of did down in here. I think what I'm going to do is somewhere in here with the greens. And then I'll get into the blues. I might do a blue-gray. So... And... I don't, I know you can't get this palette anymore, so my apologies for that. Oh no, that's the wrong brush. Um, so we're going to go back in with that same transition color. Just to get some dimension on our eyes. And then we'll probably go in... I'm going to take that brick color there and I'm going to go into my crease with that. That might be as deep as we get it. I did not put tape on for this one. Mainly because I forgot. It's like how beat up will your eyes be after today? Susan. Okay, but now I'm going to start to dabble in <clears throat> this area here. So these five shades. I'm not going to use all five, trust me. I knew my limits. So we're going to go into this green shimmer and we're going to place that on the outer part of my eye might not be a good brush for this but definitely has some fallout it's already gotten on my eyelid all let me just see something let's see how much this green can really go on better with my finger. Dang. Yeah, that's better. All right, my friends. I'm gonna wipe it off the side. I think the brush got it, had a little bit of something in it. And it darkened it up some. And we don't want that. We do not want that at all. So we're going to go back in with our finger again and see if we can get that same payoff. Just our finger. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this shade right next to it. Also with my finger. And I'm going to place that on the inner part of my eye. We're gonna have to blow out the edges with something. It is. It's just not gonna work this way. <sighs> All right pick up a brush and blow it out with something. I think I'm going to go into that brown. Go into that dark brown right there. And we'll blow it out a little bit. A little bit smaller brush. And we'll go just in our outer V and up into the 
crease some. We're going to clean up my face after. Because. Alright. Let's put some on our lower. Kind of connect them. Shade right Ugh, there. I'm gonna put that in there. In her corner. To clean up some of that crap. Okay. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Let's just clean it up a little bit. Yes, I know I'm wiping off all my powdered nose stuff. All right, guys, let's put on a little bit of mascara. I'm just gonna use this bad girl bang because. It is almost done. And we might as well use it up today. With all the eye looks we're doing. All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Look, number two, complete. I'll be back with look number three. Okay, so now we're gonna do look number today so let's just do a little cleanup real quick because that other cleanup we did was not so effective Gonna be interesting it's gonna be all shimmer we'll put this on just in our crease to get started and then we'll we'll go from there So I'm going to pull out this 3D brush thing I have from, I think it's a Sigma. Looks kind of funny and has a funny tip. I want to use it to... kind of stamp the color on my eye. That is that dark blue right there. Seems to be working. Just stamping it on. 
up into the crease. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Not down there. No stamp down there. It's a dark color. It's going to have fallout. You know this. Okay. So. It's falling out all over my palette. I'm going to see if I can't get some of that stuff off. And then I'm going to go on the other side. With the brighter blue. That one. And we're going to. Stamp, stamp, stamp that in. Stamp, stamp, stamp. That is not working as well, so let's get my finger in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We are going to go into this blue with ugh, that blue is falling apart it's just crumbling 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 I tell ya So now I'm going to go into this grayish color right here. I'm going to put that on the inner part of my eye. It's like a gray black. <sighs> my eyes. <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. Let's go back into that. not getting as dark as I want it to be but it just may be the way I'm applying it so what we do want to do is make sure we don't have anything in our fallout which we do we have a ton of fallout it's dark colors I'm not surprised we gonna fix it we're going to fix it. This is probably when I should have worn tape. So I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to blend that um, around the edges. So I'm going to start to soften it up some. Just on the edges. And then it doesn't look so sharp and we need, I think we need some more black or dark blue we just pat it on just add a little hole there I'm just doing a let's see here let's see let's see if I can get some of that blue to show up on something probably not this brush we'll try we'll try we will try it seems like every bit I put on this is kind of fading away a little bit the more I work with it, the worse it gets. So I probably should just leave it alone. Um, definitely not my favorite in the palette. I mean, I like the idea of it, but it's just not performing like the other pa rest of the palette does. So... I mean, you gotta really smoke that eye out. I 
Maybe I should do it. Everything I should do before I talk crap about it. Same. It's, uh, every bit I touch is just making it worse, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's all over my face. Alright. I'm going to put some more mascara on. But I, I this is, if I blend it more, it's going to blend away. But it's patchy. I have other palettes that have dark colors that do much better than this. <laughs> it looks so bad. Well, obviously you can't get a blue look out of this palette. How's that? How's that for a thought? Oh, I'm having a hell of a time today. <sighs> All right, guys. So this is the the dark blues and grays. Um, most people would probably redo it and pick another look, but I want you to honestly see that not every shadow in a, pa in a palette is created equal, nor will it perform as well. I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently. Dark is just not my thing. But this is look number three. Yes, look number three. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's all we're going to get out of this palette today. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Jerry, I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. Mwah.